Smith Peterson approach to the hip. A brief video. Indications. Pelvic osteotomies, hip fusion, open reduction of a hip dislocation, femoral head fracture, open reduction, tumor biopsy and excision, treatment of femorocetabular impingement, irrigation, and debridement of septic native hip. Preparation and positioning. Supine, see figure. A traction table, split table, or standard table may be used. Step 1. Supine, radiolucent table. Step 2. Skin incision, asis, lateral border patella. Step 3. Identify LCFN, 2 to 5 centimeters below asis. Step 4. 4. Interval, tensor fascia latar and satyris. Step 5. Got interval, gluteus medius and rectus femoris. Step 6. Tag, rectus femoris, identify lateral femoral circumflex artery. Step 7. Capsulotomy, T-shaped. Dangers. Nerves. Lateral femoral cutaneous nerve usually located 1 to 3 cm medial to the ASIS, has a variable course. Patients should be warned of the possibility of damage to this structure. Incision. The inferior aspect of the iliac crest just below the asis from the ASIS landmark, the incision is taken distally about 10 cm, see figure. Superficial dissection. Subcutaneous dissection is taken in line with the incision to underlying fascia of the tensor and sartorius muscles. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve emerges from the fascia just distal and medial to the asis over the sartorius fascia. Externally rotate the lower extremity to place the sartorius under a passive stretch to aid in dissection at this interval. Identify the interval between the sartorius femoral nerve, and the TFL, superior gluteal nerve, as this is the internervous plane. Deep dissection. Incise the fascia in this intermuscular plane between the sartorius and the tensor fascia latar. Modifications of this approach incise fascia over the tensor fascia latar followed by blunt dissection within the tensor fascia latar. Retract the sartorius medially and upward while the tensor is retracted laterally. The tensor can be detached from the iliac crest if necessary. The ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex lies in this interval and should be ligated in a controlled fashion, see figure. Deep dissection. The rectus femoris and gluteus medius muscles are now exposed in the field. Detach the rectus femoris from its origin, AIS and the anterior lip of the acetabulum and capsule, see figure. section. The hip capsule is now exposed and can be tensed by externally rotating and extending the hip. The hip capsule is cleared off with an elevator and properly identified by internally and externally rotating the hip joint. Deep dissection. T-shaped capsulotomy performed to expose femoral head and neck. Femoral head exposure. See intraoperative photograph that demonstrate femoral head fracture. Fixation of femoral head. 
Intraoperative photograph that depicts temporary fixation of the femoral head fracture with K-wire. Closure. The capsule is repaired according to the procedure being performed. Rectus femoris repaired anatomically. See photograph. The superficial fascial interval is repaired subcutaneous tissue and skin are closed accordingly. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.